Hi everyone, Latoya here from Miss Jackson Travels. I get questions about carry-on only travel, so I'm gonna share with you all the tips that I use that have allowed me to travel for over five years without checking a bag. When I land somewhere, I like to be able to go straight out the airport. I don't like to pay baggage fees and I don't trust baggage handlers. Traveling carry-on only makes sense for me. So in this video, I'm gonna share my top tips and then I'm actually gonna pack my bag so that you can see how I do it. My first tip is to choose the right bag. You can go for a backpack or you can go for a hard case. The most important thing is to check with the airlines to make sure that the bag uh, fits their requirements. So I'm not gonna try to give you some vague information here about sizing because that varies so much by airline. So just make sure you check with your airline. Things to look for in a backpack. Get a front-loading backpack that opens all the way around. I find the top load ones are nightmares when you need to get things in and out of them. And also choose one with pockets, both inside and out. This will really help to keep you organized. And it's just great to have options for where you can put things easily accessible. Also choose one with padded straps and a waistband or chest clip to help distribute the weight if you ever have to walk with your backpack. Tip number two is a big one, and it's be intentional with your clothes and shoes. I hear so many people saying they can't travel carry-on only because they like to look good on their trips. Well, I also like to look good on my trips, um, but there's a way to be intentional about that. So what that means for me is I think of every day of my trip, what am I gonna be doing on that day? And I pack an outfit or sometimes two for that day. On my longer trips, I wash my clothes. In some parts of the world, like South America or Southeast Asia, washing clothes um, at a service is so cheap. You can um, drop off pounds of clothes and pay a couple dollars to have your clothes washed within 24 hours. For footwear, I usually have four to five pairs of shoes. Running shoes, fancier flip-flops, flip-flops for the shower, and flip-flops for the beach. Depending on what I'm gonna be doing on the trip, I might also have heels and hiking boots. On this trip, I'm gonna be beach bumming, so I'm bringing just my sneakers, these fancier flip-flops, and then these flip-flops for the shower. I always have shower flip-flops with me, whether I'm staying in a hostel or a hotel. Tip number three is get packing cubes. Packing cubes are basically the glue that holds everything together. They keep you organized and they also help to compress your clothing. So they are just awesome. You have to have packing cubes if you plan to travel carry-on only and you want to maximize your space. They usually come in sets of three or four. Amazon has some really good options and I'll put some links below if you want to check those out. Tip number four is all about toiletries. This was probably my biggest struggle in the beginning, but I've slowly mastered it. Just remember that you don't need to bring everything with you. The strategy I use is I maximize these four ounce bottles and my liquid allowance in general with all of the products that I can't live without. My shampoo or my moisturizer. Those are two things I'm not willing to compromise on. So I load up on those toiletries that I don't mind using my hotel version of. So for example, body wash, I won't bring a ton of that with me or I'll buy a bottle of um, some nice body wash once I land. So that way I don't have to travel with it. And I keep everything organized in this lovely organizer here. It's just amazing. I can hook this on the back of the door in the bathroom and I have everything I need at my fingertips. Okay, so this is everything I'm gonna be packing on my trip. I have about 10 outfits here for my seven days in Belize. And you can see I only have two packing cubes there. I only ever use two packing cubes at a time. So let's pack.
see that it's not at all stuffed. Everything that went into the packing cubes, I rolled. The last thing is I usually bring a purse with me. Usually I bring sort of a crossbody purse um, that's very practical. On this trip, I'm being a little bit fancy. So that's where I kind of throw my book and any other stuff that you would normally keep in your purse. I would not walk around Belize with this purse. It's really just to uh, get through the airport and I would leave this in my hotel. Since I'll be beach bumming on this trip, I won't need a purse at all. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave it below. I will definitely answer. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.